Hi, I'm Mary Hamill and this is the High Speed Rail News Channel update for the last week of April. At the recent industry briefing on high speed rail at Orlando International Airport, the site of Orlando's originating high speed rail station, several important developments were announced. The Orlando to Miami PD&E study is scheduled to start in May. It will be funded by the state of Florida, an important message to teams gearing up for high speed rail that the high revenue generating Orlando to Miami segment is moving forward. The Orlando to Tampa CEI contract will be procured out of FDOT's District 1. Look for that in the months ahead. The Early Works Design Build RFP is expected to be out before the end of the year. Project managers say the goal is to create visible jobs quickly. That effort will remove signage from the median of I-4 and install barriers to create a safe work zone for the construction of the rail line itself, which should start in late 2012. And no, it's not just California anymore. China is also interested in Florida high-speed rail. China has partnered with GE, project managers say, to remove some of the concerns about foreign ownership. And could the ash-spewing, flight-halting volcano in Iceland add new impetus to high-speed rail? The New York Times includes high-speed rail in its overview of alternatives to air travel for the future. I'm Mary Hamill of Global 5 Communications, and this is your High Speed Rail News Channel update for April.